Good morning. Welcome, everyone. I'm Lars Bilson, the director here at the KITP, and it's really great to see all of you with us. Um, thanks for everything you've been doing to help keep all of us uh, as safe as we can in the current climate. So I really appreciate all of the testing and everything we've all been doing. I want to uh, first ask for how many of you is this morning your first time in Cone Hall at the KITP? How many of you is our first time here? Okay. Yeah, great. It's always about half. I'm not sure how we do this, but it's always about half. Um, so I want to say a little bit about the Institute. We, uh, this is a con what we call a conference uh, associated with a program. Programs are much longer events, 8, 10, 12 weeks, sometimes 14 weeks. Those programs come to us from you, the community, proposing ideas you have of things where you feel like we can make progress by bringing people together for a long period. Uh, we're presently wrapping up scheduling through 2024, summer 2024. Uh, so if you have ideas, we welcome them for periods beyond that. Uh, we also do rapid response programs. We've done two in gravitational wave astrophysics when things happen, like black holes were detected and then double neutron star binaries. So I don't know if we'll do another one. That depends on what, if LIGO turns on and finds anything new and exciting as opposed to more of the same. Um, but I really want to uh, encourage all of you to, to talk to myself. I'm looking around. Uh, Louis Lehner has been on the board, so he can describe the process. Patrick Brady is here with us, has been on the, is on the board presently. Um, Mark Bowick is deputy director. Mark, raise your hand. Uh, Alessandra Bonanno, who's here <laughs> on the screen, is a former advisory board member. And I'm looking around. Anybody else I'm missing? So please do, if you have ideas and want to understand the process, it really is a development effort. We work on with you, the community, and our advisory board. So it's different than sort of putting something in as you would expecting, um, you know, having it fully baked when it comes in. We really like to work with the community to develop those ideas. So I really do welcome that. Um, and so please take advantage of being here uh, to understand that process. Um, otherwise, I just want to have a, a few uh, welcome. So first off, I really want to acknowledge Claudia, who's our conference coordinator. Thank you right now, everybody. Thank Claudia for everything she's doing. So if you have any questions, in particular, if you're bringing somebody to dinner tomorrow night or the night after that we don't know about, a spouse or a partner or anybody, please let Claudia know so she can collect the fee and uh, also add to the headcount. And then Craig Kunamoto, who's IT. Thank you, Craig. Uh, now that we have Edu Rome, we've given up our password that was the same for 25 years. Uh, so uh, hopefully everybody can get on Wi-Fi. But of course, you should not be doing that. You should be paying attention to the talks. Uh, I also really want to thank the coordinators for this conference and the program. So David Kosover is not here right now, but he's the lead for the program. Uh, but for the conference, uh, Donald O'Connell is the lead. So thank you, Donald, for all your efforts. And then, of course, many others, uh, Alessandra, Ira Rothstein, let's see, is Ira here? Let's see, Mikhail Solon, maybe they're all out there, okay, and Aaron Zimmerman. Yeah, there's Aaron, okay. So thank you, Aaron. Uh, okay, so a few, a few logistical issues. So there's another program at the Institute right now called uh, On Astrophysical Binaries. Uh, they often, the other program often thinks all the food that's in the courtyard is for them. So you need to wear your name tags so that the staff will let you in and not let them in. Okay, so uh, we've got about, you know, we do a head count, but there's another 30 people in the building who will think that this is all for them. So please do wear your name tags uh, so that the staff can let you in. So for the, all of the um, breaks and lunches are in the courtyard, which is in the center of the building. Uh, we'll have a dinner tomorrow night and the night after. Well, there's no dinner this evening. But everything's here, so the intent allowing you to continue. And we have long breaks intentionally so you can continue to interact. Uh, speaking of interaction, the, the real hallmark of what we like to do here is time for discussion. So we, you will see on the calendar, the talks are 30 minutes, and then we say plus 15 for discussion. Uh, that is true. That is what we will do. And Alessandra, I don't know how she's going to do it, but she's a forceful character out there, even on the Ethernet. So, uh, so she and Donald and others will try to Make, ensure there's time for discussion. We really feel strongly that having that extra time allows you to think of a question and then even ask it uh, while we're all together. In the current environment, we're, we need to be using these microphones. As you know, there's many people that are out on Zoom. 
And for them to hear the questions, uh, we really do need to use a microphone. So Donald will probably draft someone else to help. Um, we have two mics when it comes to the question period so that you can, um, so we can ensure that those can be heard. Um, everything we do here at the Institute is recorded online. We've always been doing that. There's now about 23,000 talks uh, available for all the programs roughly in the last 20 years. And so uh, that is another resource you should be aware of that's out there and also means that all of you who are speakers will be asked to upload your slides. And so you've all received instructions for that. Uh, so keep that in mind. If there's something you want to show that you don't want to have online in the end, uh, there are instructions for how to embargo something if that's of concern for you. Okay. So I'm getting better at this. I got rusty after two years of not giving these introductions. Claudia, did I miss anything important? Ah, the door. Great. So the building's locked uh, most of the day. So you're going to go out and walk around, which is fantastic. You should do that. The weather's nice. The, the door to get back in is behind the courtyard. There's uh, a big, big old wooden door. The caterers just leave that open. And also the door that's on that side of the building is open roughly from 8.30 to 4 right now, unlocked. Also, those who are here for the program, of course, have a key, so they can always let you in and the staff are around. But we do encourage you to take advantage uh, of the environment here, and the, especially at the lunch break, which is an hour and a half. You may well do that. Okay. Anything else, Claudia, Craig? We're good? Okay. So I'm going to hand this over to Alessandra, who's going to introduce the first speaker. Thanks, everybody. Welcome. Okay. Good morning and good afternoon to everybody. Um, and welcome to the Storming the Gravitational Wave Frontier uh, Conference. The first speaker is Christopher Berry uh, from Glasgow University, and he will talk about the status of gravitational wave astronomy. Uh, so you want to share um, the screen, uh, Christopher? And I also wanted to say that, uh, as um, Lars was telling us, we take the questions uh, um, after the talk, um, but I think if people have a um, question just to clarification of plots, uh, you can interrupt, I would say, uh, that should be okay. Correct, Lars, or do you object? Correct. Okay, please, uh, Chris. 